more down. Please help. The Cyclopses have gone mad. They locked us in here and dragged my men off to Az and I knows what awful fate. I'll free your men. Do you know where they were taken? The Cyclopses took them. Over there, past the fire grates, on the other side of the chamber. I don't know what they're planning, but those two are like brothers to me. Please, will you help them? Did you find my men? Are they all right? No, I haven't found them yet. Please hurry. I'm afraid the Cyclopses have some dire plan for them. Saints bless him. I knew Albert would send someone for me. Thank you, stranger. Now, I'm gonna make a run for it while I still can.
back into the fray. Thank you. Thank you. I was a goner for sure. I need to get to the surface and let my family know that I'm not dead. I owe you one, Legionnaire. The other Cyclopses attacked us on sight. We had to defend ourselves. You took the side of the bosses. You want to enslave us, to make us work without pay, just like the paper says. What paper are you talking about? An old man gave the paper to me. He called it a Manifesto. He said we deserve a better life. We have the right to refuse to work, to demand better pay. If you tell your brothers to stand down, we'll talk to Meister Castle. I will trust you to go to the Ironmongers, to decide how best to end this fight. It is only by your mercy that we live. 
We will accept whatever judgment you make. Why doesn't anyone listen to reason before we meet them half to death? Surely you must be joking, Meister Fiddlewick. I shall not reward the slaying of my guild members with salaries and contracts. If these beasts weren't vital to the operation of the Foundry, I'd charge every one of them with murder, and they could all go to the gallows. Funny that you mention legal action. Last I recall, slavery was a criminal offense in Stonebridge. Shall we take this matter to the courts? The Cyclops has agreed to stop fighting if I speak to you on their behalf. You... what? What nonsense is this? Meister Castle is an endless font of courtesy and grace. Go ahead. Thank the Legion for saving your lives. Yes, yes. Thank you for ending the violence. But what do you mean you speak for them? Those beasts are making demands? They've been your slaves. Free labor for your guild. Now they have a manifesto, and they demand a fair wage. A manifesto? What kind of nonsense is that? An old man gave it to them. Do you know anyone with a grudge against your guild? An old man? The dapper old gent, no doubt. When Wolf hears about this, he's going to give me the I told you so of a lifetime. Why would the dapper old gent care about the Foundry? The whole economy of Stonebridge rests on the power of the Foundry's churning gears and the cheap metal goods that our forges provide. The economy of Stonebridge hinges on its workers, not your machines. But yes, the Foundry is a crucial part of our supply chain. The Foundry needs to reopen one way or another. I speak for the Cyclopses, so whatever I say, they will honor. Well then, something good came of all this violence. My good legionnaire, tell the Cyclopses that they may resume work as salaried employees. 
Shut your goblin spout. They agreed long ago to servitude as payment for their crimes. They cannot just ignore a contract. Meister Kessel, you said the Cyclopses agreed to servitude? Years ago, long before the Legion fell, a tribe of Cyclopses wandered down from the mountains and raided the town. At great cost, the people of Stonebridge bested them. Their chieftain agreed to a lifetime of servitude to spare his people from the noose. Yes, I profit from their work, but so does the whole city. A contract is a contract. We can't ignore rules and laws. Not even old ones. Meister Fiddlewick, you clearly favor the Cyclopses. I'd like to hear your side of the argument. For years, this city has flourished, largely at the expense of the Cyclopses, slaving away in the foundry. Castle used you. He told you the Cyclopses had gone mad so you would enforce his profit margin. Why do you think he lied to you? There is nothing subtle about my argument. The Cyclopses are thinking, reasoning beings and should not be slaves to any man or goblin. I've heard enough. I'm ready to decide. My hands are tied. The Cyclopses will listen to you and you alone now that you've beaten them. I pray you make the right choice. And I, for one, respect the old tradition of letting the Legion be the mediators of best resort. I know you will choose rightly. The Cyclopses acted in self-defense. They must be given fair wages and treated with respect. What? Nonsense! The Cyclopses are bound by an agreement. If you wanted my vote, you just lost it. Bah! Tell them... Tell them I will negotiate their wages. This decision is foolish, but I won't have the Cyclopses leave. The city needs them. He'll calm down eventually, but you have my thanks, and I pledge my vote to you when the time comes. Terribly sorry. Meister Castle has insisted that we have no further dealings with the Legion. Castle believes you capitulated to the demands of thugs. But I am grateful for your help. More of our colleagues would surely have died if not for you. We fixed the gears as well as we could. The Foundry is impressive when it comes to life. True. The whole city relies on the power of our furnaces and gears. Here is a little something for your trouble. Did you find my men? Are they all right? Yes, they're safe. They are? As and I bless you, and all the saints as well. I wish I had more to reward you with, but this is all I can give. I didn't help you for a reward, but if you mentioned this to Castle, we'd appreciate it. Your generosity knows no bound, my friend. I'll tell Castle, and I'll raise a glass in your honor next time I'm drinking with my mates. Second, see, I uh, I built this automaton, and it uh, well, it <laughs> might have gone into a bloodthirsty frenzy of violence, uh, maybe. 
If you could do me a favor, I figure it'd be in everyone's best interest if it got smashed up without involving the local authorities. Last thing I need is to have the Sweatcog brand name lose its immaculate reputation for safety. What sort of name is Sweatcog? Engineering is 10% innovation, 20% math, and 80% perspiration. Sweatcog is a proud name. Don't muck it. Can't you just shut it off? Oh, I thought of that. Problem is, I thought of that after I built the construct. So, uh, the only off switch it's got involves smashing it. We'll take care of it. Just tell us where it is. Excellent. You'll find the automaton on the other side of town. Just uh, try to deal with it before it causes too much trouble. If you stop it, come on back and I'll pay you for your efforts. Good. I thought I'd find you here. I heard the Legion was back in town and I've been scampering to get my old notes in order. You see, I've been archiving the history of the 10th Legion in Stonebridge. A, a sad history, to be sure, but my research can help you. Go on. What kind of research do you mean? I've studied the event of the local Legion's demise. The riots. I've kept track of many looters and killers that profited on that day. Some who looted the chapter house proudly displayed their ill-gotten gains, showing off stolen Legion property to house guests. Such arrogance. Well, I have kept track of these pompous criminals, especially the ones who insisted they'd be buried with their trophies. You spent all this time investigating the Legion's rightful properties. We're in your debt. Where are these artifacts? I, for one, respect what the Legion did for our kingdom. I'm just doing my part to honor their memory. I've assembled a list of graves that should contain stolen property. Problem is, the crypts have become too dangerous of late. Here, take my notes. Unless the thieves have started looting coffins at random, you should be able to recover the stolen items. Never thought I'd be robbing graves for the good of the Legion. Desperate times and all that. breaking down the automatons into parts and delivering them to someone. But who? A den of thieves. Should be a straightforward fight. <clears throat> 